All right, guys, welcome back to Meditex. Today we're going to be going over some basic controls in the game. Uh, when you start the game, I'm at BNB Tower right now and uh, just coming out of the main tower. The first thing we can do is we can hit Q and that brings out the phone. And from here, I want to jump and press H. All right, and this tells us all the different controls in the game. Show phone, delivery orders for V, um, <clears throat> options, drone mode lets you fly around using the camera. U is units, and we'll be making another video about that. Basically, you need units to uh, transfer your Mega from the game from the Mega Express game into the 3D strategy, which is this version right here, right? This version right here is, you know, the Sims, the SimCity version. And first thing you need to do is buy a unit, but we'll be talking more about that in the future. You also can access your profile from here if we hit P. And it shows you your character stats here. Shows you, um, what's going on here, take a flight to the air, from the airport, transport menu to explore another city, and find more daily delivery orders with rewards in Mega. So this here has 678 Mega rewards available in Ethereum City. Tron City doesn't have any, and BNB City has um, 10, $10.20. 10 and with that, uh, 10 Mega, 10.2 Mega, I should say. This is 678 mega, excuse me. Um, so that's good information there. And now, to say the least, you can definitely do more missions in Ethereum City, but there are higher value missions in BNB City. Now, transport, if we press T, you can see here I have a couple of units. These are all units here. I can fast travel to these units for free. Okay, I could also use the airport for free. Now the relevance of this is um, you can, if you're looking at the big map by pressing tab, tab opens up the big map, uh, see all of these here, I would be able to fast travel to them. I could fast travel to this one here. So the more units you own, the more you could fast travel. And that is the main function of using T, is it shows you all of your transport options within a city. Uh, Ethereum City has a way better layout for transportation, by the way. Okay, so if we go back into the phone, uh, the next option is V for uh, orders. And that's where we get to see what, what's available right now. There's this one here for $1.50. And if we click that, uh, it shows us the direction of it. And we could close up the phone. I'm not actually going to do a mission right now. This is just a tutorial on some functions with the keyboard. All right. And we come over here. Profile public transport. And we just talked about the mini map. Now, what we also have to learn about is how to uh, navigate. I go forward by pressing W, right? And I go left by pressing A, I go right by pressing D, and I go backwards by pressing S, okay? Pretty simple. And when I press W to move forward, and then I hold Shift, I can run. Now from here, something I can do is double tap W to walk automatically, and I can hit Caps Lock to sprint, okay? And the reason why I'm coming over here right now is I want to head to a car. That's why I'm heading away from the mission right now. And this is the this is the closest police car. The police car is kind of the fastest car you can get on the road right now. So that's pretty cool. Um, from here, when we close the phone, we can also get in the car by pressing E. Now once you get it in the car, you cannot adjust your mission at all. You have to kind of stick with it, right? So you, once you press E, you get in the car, and that's it. But just to recap real quick, to, ru to, to run automatically, double tap W, okay? Press any other direction to stop. And then caps lock, 
toggles walking automatically and sprinting automatically. Okay, so I'm just going full circle here. This is back at the main tower. Come out of these doors. Take a right. Come right down this pathway here and you'll be able to get in a cop car. Okay, and in order to get in the car, we press E to get in. And now what you want to do is find a camera angle that you kind of like and then let go of the mouse and just use A, W, S, D to control the car. That's it. And once you have a good camera angle that you like, you just, you just have to navigate. Boom. See that? And while we're driving here, I just want to check the map, make sure I'm going in the right direction. I am going to go up to this hard left over here, and we'll be coming up on the mission momentarily. Take some, say, take some sidewalks here. So it would be cool as if in the real game, if you can, uh, you know, arrest people for doing things like that, write them a ticket, you know, and they can run away from you too. Be pretty cool get bounties that way. And we press E to exit the car. All right, and now we'll go the rest of the way to get into this mission here. See right here, we press E to enter the mission. And this is where I'm gonna end it, guys. Uh, just this is all about controls. You come up to the uh, concierge here and you press space to accept the mission. I'm going to hit X, okay? And that is that. After we accept the mission, we hit E to exit the building. All right. And unfortunately, your car has disappeared. However, we also could just head to another car and pick it up. And one last thing, space bar is to jump. So that's pretty much your basic controls in Mega World. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Uh, and also join the Mega World Discord. That's where you find a lot of the information. The community is more than happy to help.